Hey, florist entrepreneurs. If you have an e-commerce based website for your business, in this video today, I'm going to give you the top five things you need on your website to make sure you have success. Hey everybody, welcome back. Frank Blanchard AIFD here. And like I said, the top five things you need on your e-commerce based florist website to make sure that you are successful are really important and can't be ignored. The other thing is they aren't all that hard. So there's really no excuse to being able to execute these five things to really improve your overall web traffic and convert that traffic into buying customers. Now, I know it works also because I just actually got a comment on another video from one of my followers today with a big thank you saying that she had been able to implement just a few of the things that I had talked about on some of my other videos. And she was actually able to double her business in just a couple of days after implementing just a few key points. So little by little, keep this in mind. Make sure that you continually work on your website on a regular basis. A little bit of work here and there is much better than none at all. If you don't do anything or you're not active with your website, that's when things are not going to happen. So let's get into these top five things that are greatly going to improve your overall web presence. Number one, content is key. Text content and text content specifically that has really good ranking keywords and keyword phrases in it and terminology that the general public actually searches for is key. And you need to have new text content created and added to your website on a fairly regular basis. So if you have an e-commerce based website with a shopping cart and you've got things on your website that people can actually purchase directly off of your website, one thing is really helpful with that and that is to have a good majority of the items that you have on your website change periodically and for we florists and floral designers with an online e-commerce based website the easiest way to do that is to change the majority of your offerings on a seasonal basis so that the overall look and feel of your website is quite different from season to season. And that keeps people's interest going. So when you have viewers actually looking at your website, but that is helping you generate new content for your website. And that's something that the search engines are going to make note of. And all of those keywords that you've included in that content are ultimately what makes your website searchable by the search engines. So content is really key. Make sure that you're creating new content on your website on a regular basis. Second thing, make sure that your Im photo images on your website are the right size for use on the web. If your images are too big, you can actually really bog down your website a lot just by the images being too big, mainly because it 
takes up so much bandwidth to get those images to upload that it slows down how fast your website loads. And this is especially important for people's mobile devices. The slower your website loads, that's when we consider a website to not be mobile friendly. And when you consider about 80 to 85% of people on the web that are shopping are doing it on a mobile device, that's an important factor. So you want to be creating new regular content for your website, making sure the images on your website are not too big to bog down the load time of your website. Also, when it comes to images, we florists are very image conscious and we love beautiful things and they're is still somewhat of a trend to put image galleries on our websites or banners of images of some of our work that move on our website. It's a scrolling gallery of some sort. When you have those scrolling images, that's another thing that takes a lot of bandwidth for somebody's device to load up so that they can actually see it. And it makes your website load really slowly. So if you've got scroll any kind of scrolling images like that, I would encourage you to take that off and go for stationary images that don't move because that will help a lot. Third thing or I should say, actually, that's number four. I'm up to number four now. Make sure that you don't have too many selections on your website. And this is where you can actually make a whole lot more money if you pare down your offerings. A couple of different reasons. One, if you have too many offerings on your website, you can end up having your overall bounce rate go up. Meaning people get to your website, they find you, they think you have what they might want, uh, and they start scrolling. And they scroll, and they scroll, and they scroll. And you've literally given them so many options that they literally cannot make up their mind. So what happens is they get distracted and they leave and they go somewhere else. They go somewhere else on the internet. Somebody gives them a phone call, whatever it is, they end up bouncing off your site and they end up not making a purchase. So keep that in mind. Don't have too many items on your florist e-commerce website. Along with that, Really try to narrow down what you do offer on your website to things that you specifically sell a lot. If you can analyze those few things and figure out what it is about those specific items that makes those items sell more than others, those are the kinds of things you really want to double down on and make more items and get some good images of those items so that you can add those to your website. And there's something about them that people seem to be gravitate or should be, uh, getting their attention and makes them want to buy it. So if you can have similar things on your website that sell really well, that's a key that you wanna keep doing that. If you have a lot of different things on your website that maybe you have been in business for quite a few years and you have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of items on your website and 
you might have a few on your website that you have never in your life, as long as you have been in business, sold even one of them. Take them off. If you have anything that you never sell on your website, take it off your website. <laughs> Make sure that what you do have on your website, you actually sell and you sell it on a regular basis. Okay, so those are some key factors to making sure that your e-commerce florist website is really spot on and working and generating you a good amount of online business. So backtracking, making sure that you're creating new content on a regular basis. For your website, if you have a blog on your website that's a good way to be creating new content. If you don't have a blog as part of your website, at least be changing what is on your website on a seasonal basis. So that's another way that you can make sure that you're generating new content. Make sure you're using keywords and keyword phrases and terminology that average people on the street are actually searching for. Don't get into industry speak. Make sure words that the average Joe on the street would use to search for your services. So new content, images, make sure they aren't too big. Images, make sure you don't have scrolling images and things like that on your website. For make sure that you don't have too much on your website. The more you have on your website, in addition to making your bounce rate go up, it also makes your website not as mobile friendly and it can be really slow to load for people. And that's another way you can end up losing customers because they don't want to wait any longer for your website to load. And last but not least, make sure that you give information about you, the business and your business. Don't do some short little paragraph sort of thing. Give people information. The more you can get your customers to know, like, and trust you, you're gonna be able to get them to shop with you on a regular basis. And we're always going for repeat customers. So let your customers, fans, and followers know something about you. They've gotta be able to get to know you. Once they do that, you're gonna be golden. So today, those are your top five things that you need for your florist e-commerce website to be successful and be bringing business into you. So now your project is to get out there and be sharing your website to anybody and everybody you know, and also be sharing it in all of your social media streams as well. I hope you found that information helpful today and Hopefully it inspired you to work on a few things on your website. And just remember, a little bit of work here and there is better than none at all. I hope you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked this content. And if you'd like to get notifications of new content when I upload new videos, by all means, hit that bell icon. And until next time, stay safe, everybody, and go out there and sell some flowers. The flowers are what makes everybody's mood better. And in this day and age right now, with craziness in the world, we all need that. Until next time, see you all soon. Bye-bye.